Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I bring a guest back on that I had on in the past, and I liked him so much I had to bring him right back. Uh, so today's guest is Joe Martin, and he's founder over at Martin Creative and Food Tour Marketing. Uh, Joe, welcome back to the show. Um, thank you. And man, it sounds surreal to just hear you say 2020 reunion. Like that's that's this year. We're we're in the future at this point, aren't we? I love it. It's my family. Well, I'm gonna see you in 2021. I'm be like, what's going on, Joe? Come on. That's what, what are we doing this year? I'm in. I know. I know. I don't recall. I don't. I, I actually remember all these, Joe. Even though I talk to a lot of people, I remember everyone. I can't help it, and whether I want to or not. But that being said, I think food tour marketing is new. I don't recall we, us talking about that last time. Um, so, it, or, or at least it's new to me. Um, so I'm excited to get into that too. Um, so let's see. Yeah. Where do we want to start? Let's actually let's start with let's start with Martin Creative. So I don't want to assume we got a lot of new listeners. We really had a really blessed um, last year and going into this year. So the, the audience grew, has grown quite a bit. Don't want to assume they caught the last episode. So let's just start with Martin Creative. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Oh, Martin Creative. It's it's helping companies uh, work it down to just figuring out who are you really selling to. That so many companies like to say this idea of oh we're we're selling to all these people and these people. And I'm like no. Oh. No, what person? I want to figure out an individual person that you're selling this to, and then I want their identity. I want to know what they drive. I want to know what they ate for dinner last night, how many kids they have, if they swear. And so we take customers down that road to really define who they're trying to sell to and why that person wants to buy from them. And once we so do that, then there's all kinds of stuff. Can you explain? Can you so can you explain like the importance of having I've heard avatar like an avatar like greater your ideal market or your customer profile or something like that can you I don't want yep. to assume that everybody listening understands that concept and to me because I, I mean I've been in business uh, quite some time and we still I'm, I still struggle with it sometimes so can you kind of explain the importance of that I can I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it back to one of the men considered one of the grandfathers of advertising Mr. Claude Hopkins. Back in the early 1900s, he was running a campaign for Pepsodent and helped, helped bring up the national toothbrushing average. One of his big quotes is that you need to learn how to sell to one customer before you can learn to sell to thousands. And so that's kind of it is, yes, everyone everywhere can use it. And a lot of companies try to say, oh, our target customer is 35 to 55 years old and a female. And now I'm not. I'm not a female. I don't think I can empathize, but I'm pretty sure the needs of a 35-year-old are vastly different from those of a 55-year-old female. And so it's really about personalizing it, getting it down, understand how this one person really loves what you do, and then then go find more of them. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Let's get into, so I do want to switch it up a bit. Let's get into food tour marketing. So, um, yeah, this is a new one for me. Tell, tell me more about the business, what you're doing. I mean, let's get into it. Yeah, uh, that same idea. Let's narrow it down to one person. I did this about five years ago with my company, and I wanted to figure out who, were the, who was that one customer I loved working with the most, and it was food tours. Mm. And so I had, a, I had a handful, and I just I fell into working with these food tours. And so started getting stuff together, and we ended up building a prepackaged website just for tours. And after the first year, that website was showing an average increase of 42% in revenue for over 20 companies. Get it out. Just, oh, it my gosh. That's fantastic. absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, using conversion-based copy principles was the idea. Mm-hmm. And so... Uh, Six months after we launched that product, it got acquired by a company in Canada, and I spent three years working in the food and wine tourism space. And when I left that company in April, I still wanted to work with food tours. And so I started doing some stuff on the side, still working with food tours, and now it's turned into a series of online master classes. We're about to roll out a membership with that, and then also working with tours one-on-one. 
Wow. So can you – I can't claim – so I've been on pub crawls. I can't claim I've been on a food tour. I need some more on this. Adam. Adam I'm not, I'm, I don't get out right much. Now. I'm podcasting. I'm, all, I'm busy like <laughs> I'm busy doing marketing for you. I don't have time to go on tours. <laughs> I'm doing, I found my one customer. It's you. <laughs> so now tell me what about this food tour. <laughs> I've, never, I've never given homework on a podcast before, but Adam <laughs> – Go take a food tour. There, so it's not a everywhere. pub crawl. Got it. No, they they take you to about um, usually around five different restaurants, and wow. everything is already set up for you when you arrive at each restaurant. The items then picked. Sometimes the chef comes out and actually talks to you about the meal. You get to learn about the history of the place, why it exists, and they are everywhere. They've been popping up all over the place, but still, people people don't even know what a food tour is. See, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm in good. I'm in good company then. Um, so, where? Um, what areas is this? Are are you? Uh, have you been working with so far? Is this? Um, is this in the Chicago area? Is this West Coast, East Coast? Where? All over the place. Give us a little bit more there. All over the place. Uh, food tours are international at this point. I've worked with companies from Australia to Montreal to Juneau, Alaska, and then down in wow. Mexico and a bunch in the U.S. So. Everywhere, oh, they're everywhere. If you just Google your city name and food tour, you'll probably find one. No, that's a, no. I'm sure Santa Monica. So I'm I'm sure I'll, I'm going to do that today. And uh, when we're done, and I will, uh, I'm going to find one. You, said that you gave me homework, and you know I like doing my homework. So there we go. We're, that's done. Last homework you gave me was to create some videos, and I think we're about you know 300 in. So yeah, there you go. I do, I do your homework. This one's a lot easier, and it's going to be less costly. So thank you, Joe. It is. It is. But you'll love it just as much. So um, I know you got another project going and uh, cooking over here, um, and uh, let's get into that one also because I do want to. I want to. I want to hear more about this before I see it everywhere, and so I can say I know the guy that launched that. Um, so Q Car, yeah. tell us a little bit more about this. I know you got a campaign going right now. Uh, I think that all entrepreneurs and anyone, I think we we work in our business, but then the ideas never stop coming. And there's always these little side projects. And for me, this idea of cue cards has been a two-year side project. That it is a card game for people who love Chicago for right now. We'll expand other cities later. We start small. Start with, my, start with that one user. I'm just starting with Chicago. Yeah, for sure. And it's, it's a series of uh, events in Chicago history. So a lot of people uh, love the Chicago flag. A lot of people have the Chicago flag tattooed on them but very few of them actually know what these four stars on the flag stand for. And so this game just uses events and dates, and you have to kind of use just correlation to figure out did the Great Chicago Fire happen before or after the Art Institute opened? Was that before or after our first African-American alderman? And it starts to give you some perspective on history of just knowing, like, wow, this that wasn't that long ago. Like, we just we only had our first female mayor in the 70s, that's, that's crazy. And so it's meant to open you up a little more and give you kind of your perspective of where you are in time between the, the past of your city, the current. And I think when we know the past of a place, maybe, maybe we can help shape the future of it. Uh, you can't leave me hanging. What do the four stars mean? Come on. Just so you know, probably I think we're, we're like 14%. 14% of my downloads come from Chicago. Now, I like to think it's because of you and you got you listen to it all day long, but I don't think so. I think you shared it with some of your crowd. Um, but now we're second, second, to, second to California. 33% come from here. 14% Chicago, like area proper. So now all the people in Chicago, I'm asking you this Ooh. question for you. What are the four questions? What are the four stars mean? You better know too. <laughs> it's in your so game. I, <laughs> <laughs> I do, and, and the Chicago flag, a lot of symbolism. So we'll actually, we'll go through it because Chicago flag has three white stripes on it. Those represent the uh, west side, the north side, and the south side. We don't really have an east side. We've got two big blue bars on the Chicago flag. Those represent Lake Michigan and the north branch of the river, and then we have the south branch of the river and the canal. And then we have our four stars in the middle, and those are Fort Dearborn, which happened back in 1812 when this was just the site of a fort that you can learn a little more about the history through the app of it. We have the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, the World's Columbian Exposition in 1893, and then the Century of Progress in 1933 and 34. And those are, those are our four stars that people just 
They don't know, and I want them to know. I think that, man, that that's incredible things awesome. happen when you know. That's for all of my Chicago people. There you go. So, hey, I'm thinking about <laughs> you out here in California. I'm in. That was your question. So, Joe, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about what you're up to, so Martin Creative or Food Tour Marketing or the cue card game, um, I think you got a, a, a Kickstarter going for cue card, right? Um, tell us a little bit more about that. I do. Like, let, every, let everybody know where they can, where they can follow you because you're a busy man. Yep, you can go find out more information about the game at qcards.co. That's just letter Q, cards.co. And then if you want to find me, you can find me at hijoemartin.com. And yes, we did just legalize weed recently, but it's hijoemartin.com, not H-I-G-H. Oh, branding. Got it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, I got it now. This is good. Everybody remembers. They're like, oh, that Joe. Got it. All right. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, hey, Joe, it's been a pleasure catching up with you. Glad, glad to have you back on the podcast family reunion for 2020. Going to see you in 2021. All great stuff there. Um, been excellent catching up. And uh, the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this, uh, especially those Chicago people out there. Come on, four stars. You know what they mean now. There you go. Um, <laughs> that being said, don't forget to subscribe. Um, uh, leave me a review. If you're watching this on the, on the new YouTube channel, Money Matters Top Tips, uh, give that a subscribe and leave us some comments in the uh, in the comment section. Uh, let us know what you thought. Um, if you got some other fun facts, I'd love to hear them. And Joe, thanks again for coming on the show. Absolutely. Anytime, Adam. Thank you for having me. And then we'll plan to take that food tour when you're in Chicago next. We're going. We're doing it.